I saw this unique refrigerator magnet on Facebook and then on Thingiverse and I decided to just design my own. I call it the flip clip. I'll show you how I made it on today's Film of Friday. And here's the design on Thingiverse that inspired me. It's by user Schlotz. And here's my design that I made in Tinkercad. Two holes at the back for the magnets, two slots to slide them into, and these bumps just to hold the paper. So here it is as a hole so you can see the slot and then the hole for the uh, magnets. And this was actually really easy to make. I just dropped some blocks down in that were holes and then these holes into the back of it. And they just combined. The rest of it was kind of kludgy. I had a triangular piece and then a flat piece at the front. And then I did this half rounded thing to give it a rounded bottom. Then I did blocks on the edge to make it look thicker. And then these rounded pieces at each corner just around the, around the corners. It's not the prettiest thing but it worked. So then I downloaded that as an STL file and sent it to Simplify 3D. Once I got into Simplify 3D, I actually had a, an interesting issue. So it was 50% PLA and this extrusion width, I'll show you in a minute how this became very important. Layer I did at 0.15 millimeters, six top and bottom layers and six outline shells. Temperature was uh, 200 degrees for the PLA. And then I just prepared to print. Now look what happened the back wall didn't even show up. It's not there. What I had to do is go back and set it to manual extrusion width and 0.3. Then when I sliced it, now it showed up as a real thin wall. And here's a time lapse of it printing on the Select Mini. I've got to tell you, this is not the best print I've seen in this thing, but it worked. It was good enough, so I went with it. And then now I need to assemble it. I use these rare earth magnets from Harbor Freight Tools. They're really cheap. Three bucks for ten of them. So now I needed to assemble the flip clip. So I took a magnet out of the packaging, slid one off the top, pushed it into the slot, and then used a screwdriver to push it the rest of the way in. That worked really well. So I did it again. Just slid it in, pushed it all the way down, and the magnets stay in really well. So this was perfect, ready to test. Now all you need to do is put your paper in place, push down on the flip clip, and it handles the rest. It's really easy to use and incredibly handy. This was a success. So there you have it, a very handy and useful 3D print that'll fit on just about any printer. Now I printed it on this Select Mini and the more I use this thing the more I like it. It's not perfect. I know some people have had power supplies fail but overall I think for $199 it's hard to beat. The fact it'll hold a full roll of filament the larger build area that's heated. Now I did improve mine and change the knob, 3D printed knob, and there's parts out there already on Thingiverse to make this a better printer. But the fact that it's small, portable, and prints as well as it does, I think it's well worth the money. It really, if you want to get into 3D printing and you just don't have a lot of money to spend, to me this is worth it, it really is. Now some have asked, do I like it better in my Fabricator Mini? Well, I printed a flip chip or a flip clip on my Fabric Cave Mini as well. It's about equal quality. I wouldn't say either one is beautiful, but they're both really good and they both work well. So to me, they're pretty equal as far as what they can print. I still like the firmware that's in this one. I really don't like the firmware that's kind of closed on this one, but there are advantages to both. So do I like one better than the other? No, I like them both. So I got a bunch of boxes and stuff I want to talk about. I just don't have time today, so I'm, I'll put this in a separate video. But I do want to mention that this weekend is the Detroit Maker Fair in Dearborn, Michigan at the Henry Ford Museum in Greenfield Village. I will be there on Saturday. I don't know exactly where I'll be roaming around, but I will commit to around one o'clock I will be in the 3D printing area and I'll try to be by the See Me CNC booth. That's the one with the really big 3D printer. They're there every year so I expect they're going to be there again this year. I'll be hanging around their booth. I'll even have some Filament Friday stickers to hand out. So if you want to meet me, just look for me there. Just come say hi. I'm, I don't bite. <laughs> and I'd love to meet you. So that's where I'll be. Hopefully I'll see you there. So that's it for this one. If you liked it, thumbs up. 
please subscribe if you're not a subscriber if you want to support the channel there was a link up here somewhere probably another one right up here click on that it takes to my patreon page and whoever it is that keeps giving me the thumbs down do your thing man it doesn't bother me a bit that's it for this week i'll see you next time i'm filling a friday